So myself, Philippa and two volunteers have been macheting a new trail and Philippa and I decided to come back an alternative route and we find a howler monkey. But something really really weird has happened and it's baby howler monkey. And now it's here. <laughs> We're going to have to do some investigating but it's clearly been a pet. Here is the story of how I came to have a baby monkey on my lap in the rainforest. Initially, we were just excited to see a red howler monkey. We don't see them every day, and to see one this close up and this low down in the trees was really quite something. However, it soon became apparent that this monkey was a little more brave than it should be. He was very inquisitive, playing only around a metre above my head, and when I began to move away from him, he tried to follow me, and as you can see here, he even came down to the ground, albeit accidentally. Crouched down so as not to scare him, we continued to observe him for a short while. It soon became apparent that our suspicions that he had been a pet were founded when this happened. I was initially worried that he would bite me, but he was content to sit on my back, my shoulder and then even my lap. He was definitely craving human company, which again confirmed our suspicions that he had been a pet. <laughs> you can hear Philippa and I laugh occasionally in this video. We're not laughing because we think it's a funny situation, nor am I smiling because I think it's cool, but it's really very sad. We're laughing at how absurd it is that we are walking through the forest and a red howler monkey comes down from the trees and ends up jumping on my shoulders. It's not what we were expecting when we went to walk. Seriously. At one point some macaws fly over, startling the monkey who jumps off my lap and hides underneath a tree. But it's not long again before he looks at me and jumps back to me for reassurance. By this point, perhaps 10 or 15 minutes had passed and I decided that we ought to leave. It wasn't healthy for the monkey to have this much contact with us. But I suspected that we may have problems. The monkey did not seem to want to leave us any time soon. I did manage eventually to get him to stop sitting on me, but he continued to play in the trees right around us. Let's try and go back the way we came. Um, preferably without a monkey on my leg or my back. I'm sorry guy, I'm really sorry. You have to stay here alone. Bye. No, 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 no. This is what's going to happen, isn't it? As we were only 200 metres from the house, it wasn't difficult for the monkey to follow us the entire way, despite our best efforts at being fast and leaving him behind. We are walking into camp with a monkey that we found in the forest. Just, you know, around the day in the mammal team. <laughs> Laddie? Laddie? If you notice in the clip of video there, you hear somebody shout Danielle. And we were in fact correct, the monkey had been a pet and it had been kept at the lodge that we're currently studying at before two months ago disappearing off into the rainforest to live a solo life. He is called Daniel. <laughs> he stayed at the station maybe for less than an hour with us. Unfortunately somebody fed him a banana but luckily it didn't encourage him to stay and he went back to the rainforest. Since then we have spotted him a few times but he's not managed to follow us back to the house so that's good. <laughs> How long Danielle can survive as a juvenile by himself, not in a group of howlers, remains unknown. If anybody out there has any experience with rehabilitating red howler monkeys, then I would love to hear from you.